ವಕ್ರತುಂಡ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರ್ವದ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯ ವರದೆ ಕಾಮಿಣೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವೋಪಿಷೇವರೋಗಿಧೇ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪದ್ಮಭುವ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಶಕ್ತಿ ತತ್ಪುತ್ರ ಪರಾಶರಂ ಚ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಶುಕ ಗೌಡಪದ ಮಹಾಂತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರಮಥ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಥ ಪದ್ಮಪದ ಹಸ್ತಮಲಕ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ತಂ ತೋಟಕ ವಾರ್ತಿಕಾರಮನ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರೂನ್ ಸಂತತಮಾನತೋಸ್ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತೌ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಸ್ವಿಣ ತ್ವಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತ ಸಹವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಸೂತ್ರಾರ್ಥೋವರ್ಣ್ಯತೆ ಯೂತ್ರಾರ್ಥೋವರ್ಣ್ಯತೆ ವರ್ಣ್ಯಂತೆ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಿಧೋ ಪಿದು ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಮೆಮರೈಸ್ಡ್ ಸೂತ್ರಲಕ್ಷಣಾನೀಕಾನಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯಲಕ್ಷಣಾನೀಕಾನಿ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನಲಕ್ಷಣಾನಿ ಕಾನಿ ಕಿಂ ಅಧಿಕರಣ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನ ಅಧಿಕರಣ ಅಧಿಕರಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮಸೂತ್ರ ದೀಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೆಮರೈಸ್ you know the meaning of this 
ಶ್ಲೋಕಾ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಐ ಟಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಸೂತ್ರಾರ್ಥ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಸೂತ್ರ ಬಟ್ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಸೂತ್ರ ಡನ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ದ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಟು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನ ಆರ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಈವನ್ ಭಾಷಕಾರ ಡಸನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ಮಯ ಅಲ್ಪ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಅಲ್ಪ ಅಲ್ಪ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಆರಭ್ಯತೆ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರವತ್ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಟು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಬೈ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಭಾಷಿಕಾರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯಾರ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ and upanishad are deemed to be like sutra of course it is like sutra it has been explained like sutra so the first sutra vatvat sutra vatvat upanishadah api upanishadah vyakhyanam api bhashyamiti katyate anyway we have seen what is bhashyam then we collect the meaning in the beginning we saw ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಮುಂಡಕ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಖಂಡ ಸವಂತ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸಂಗತಿ ಯೋ ಸೌ ತಮಸ ಸಂಸಾರ ಮಹೋಧಿ ಗಂತವ್ಯ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಸಂಗತಿ ಕಹ ಕಸ್ಮಿನ್ ವರ್ತತೆ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸಹ ಸಹ ಕಹ ಸಹ ಸಹ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಸಹ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೋಣ ಉದಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಬೀನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ದಟ್ ಸಹ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸಹ ಇಸ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಸಹ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೋಣ when when do you use a pronoun when already the noun is mentioned then only you can use a pronoun so in the previous shloka sixth shloka sixth mantra or shloka mantra there we saw there also saha is that saha yeshon tars charate bhuda jayamana so saha you have to go on pick up so it will end up in paramatma and saha is parvatma saha ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಚ್ಚಿತ್ ಆನಂದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಕಸ್ಮಿನ್ ವರ್ತತೆ ಆಹ ಯಹ ಅಸೌ ತಮಸ ಪರಸ್ತಾತ್ ಊಯಿಸ್ ತಮಸ ಪರಸ್ತಾತ್ ಇಸ್ ಊಯಿಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಲೇಷ ಇನ್ ಹಿಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ವವಿತ್ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಸರ್ವವಿತ್ ಪಶಕರ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಡ್ each word of i to see analyze to think why in bashikara use the tamas of parastat tamas of parastat means that is up beyond tamas darkness darkness means ignorance avidya it means he is free from avidya bhagavan is free from avidya how can bhagavan be avidya jiva only can have avidya jiva is under the the fold under the, the control of avidya under the sway of avidya avidya vashaha jeevaha paramatma tamas of parastat paramatma cannot be cannot be cannot be under this this the avidya avidya under paramatma and the avidya with regard to paramatma is called maya that's why ishvara is called 
Dharma is called Mayavi. Maya to Prakritim Vidya. In Panchadashi, we will see. Maya is called Prakriti. Mayinam to Maheshwaram. The Mayi, Mayinam is Maheshwara. Is a Maya, he is a wielder of Maya. So, if, a, if he, Paramatma is a handler of Maya, then how can Paramatma be under the hold of Avidya? Avid, therefore, no, he is free from Avidya. Therefore, Ishwara doesn't have Avidya. Ishwara is Avidya. Then it's a problem. So, therefore, Tamasak Parastat. Therefore, Yaha Asal Tamas of Parastat. Yaha Asal Parastamas of Parastat, that is the Paramatma, which is free from Avidya. So that Avidya, Tamas of Parastat, Samsara Mahodadim Tirtva, crossing the ocean of Samsara. Gantavyaha to be attained, to be gained, to be gone to. What is that Paravidya Visheha? That is the subject matter. Is Paravidya Ishvara Paramatma is the subject matter. So Paravidya Visheha, Gantavyaha, Avagantavyaha, Saha Paramatma, Kasmin Vartate, Kutra Vartate, where is he? Is everywhere. Where is the? Why? Because where is he? The Vashakara connects is in this Jiva Upadi, in this Vyashti Jiva Upadi, Kutra Vartate. Ishvara is everywhere. Ishvara is everywhere. Everything is Ishvara. In fact, what is, is Ishvara? There is nothing other than Ishvara. If Ishvara is everything, and therefore if Ishvara is everywhere, then where is he located, if you ask? Where is he located means, in this Sharira, where is located? Everywhere, then why you ask in this Sharira where it is located? It means, even though light is everywhere, even though light is everywhere, and it is reflected. It is reflected in the mirror. Similarly, it's obtained in the mirror. It manifests in the mirror. It can be recognized in the mirror, the light. Similarly, this Paramatma is everywhere. Where in this Shariram, where it is recognized, that is given in the mantra. Therefore, Vashyakara says, Daha Saha Tasmin Vartate, Putra Vartate, Itiyaha. That is the idea. It is this, uh, it doesn't mean Sakakasmin Vartate means it is not that Paramatma where it is located, it's not Adhikaranam. It is Adhikaranam only. Adhikaranam in this, Adhikaranam is not in the literal sense. That is where he is obtained, where, what is its Upalabdhisthanam? Ishwaraha Sarvatra Vartate, Kintru Kat Kutra Tasya Upalabdhi Bhavati. That is the meaning of the sentence. Saha Kasmin Vartate. Otherwise, this uh, the just if you take the literal meaning, it becomes you are limiting the Ishvara. Bhashakara will not say like that. So Saha Kasmin Vartate, Tasya Upalabdi, Stanam Putra Vartate. You are there throughout this Shariram, limited Shariram, which are part of the this Shariram, whichever part of the Shariram, if someone touches, it is touching you only. From the toe to the head is you. So, if they want to touch you, touching the toe is touching you. Touching the head also touching you only. So, you are pervading throughout this Shariram, this body. So, where you are located means, you are the entire Sharia. This body is you. Though limited, this is whole thing is you. Touching the ocean. Touching the ocean. Touching the water of the ocean is touching the ocean. You don't have to touch the 
the Pacific Ocean from the beginning to the end. It's not touching the Pacific Ocean. Touching the water of the Pacific Ocean is touching the ocean. Similarly, Ishwara is everywhere, but where is his Upalabdhisthana? Chaitanyam consciousness is everywhere in the Shariram, from the toe to the head. But the Chaitanyam manifests in the Buddhi. It is recognized in the Buddhi. That is Upalabdhisthana. That is what Bhashakara says, Kasaha, Kaspin Vartate. He is going to say that. Okay. We'll read the mantra. Yes, sir. 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 Yomyatma Pratishtitaha Mano Maya Prana Shari Raneta Mano Maya Maya Prana Shari Raneta Pratishtitone Hudayam Sanitaya Pratishti <laughs> Since we didn't have to class to two class, that's why I'm explaining again. I think, uh, I mean, I assume that you, you won't be remembering. That is very recollecting. Actually, we have started reading the Bhashyam, right? Bhashyam, second line, we are supposed to read. Yes. Yes. But it's, it's okay. But just I will again quickly uh, explain the meaning of the mantra. So you may not be recalling. So, so that's why I'm repeating again. Yes, sir, yes, sir, with a yes, 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 Yesya Yeshaha, spreading the Sandhi. Yesya Yeshaha Magima Bhuvi. So Yaha Yesya. Then uh, Yatat Samunda. Then Tata should be there. That Yaha Sarvagyaha Sarvavitha. Yesya Yeshaha Magima Bhuvi. Saha Putra Vartate, Kasmin Vartate. That is the connection. The one who is Sarvagyaha. Sarvam jana di iti sarvagnyaha upapada samasa. Sarvavita sarvam visheshena jana di everything he knows in detail, in particular. Sarvagnyaha is he knows everything to be Brahma. And he knows everything in detail, Sarvavita. So the one who is Sarvag, both Sarvagnyaha and Sarvavitu, when Sarvavitu is there along with Sarvagnyaha, you have to note that's then that is is Paramatma. Jnani is Sarvagnyaha. By Jnanam, Jnani knows that everything is Brahma. Sarvam Brahma iti janati, Sarvam janati. Kim iti Brahma iti Sarvagnyaha. That is called jnana. That is called one who knows is called jnani. Therefore, mukti moksha iti. But he cannot be a sarvavitu. Sarvavitu only is Ishvara. I will explain that further. Now, this first line, if you see, sarvagyaha sarvavitu, it talks about paramatma. It is description of paramatma. Yaha sarvagyaha. Yaha Sarvavita Sarvam Visheshana Janati. 
it describes Paramatma whose glory is this Bhuvi is this is this Jagat his glory is seen in the Jagat manifest in the Jagat that yeah, that which that Paramatma Brahma Divya Brahma Pure Heshaha Vyomnyatma Pratishtitaha Vyomnyatma that Vyomnyatma Brahma Pure Yeshaha Yeshaha Yaha is her then Saha must come but that Saha has become Yeshaha because the Saha is the word pronoun you can use when it is far Parokshetat iti vida vijaniyat. That this that pronoun from Shloka, if you remember, idam etat tat adas. When do you use this pronoun? So tat you use when it is paroksha, when it is far away. The second line it is used in eshaha, the proximity, the close. Eshaha, the word you use when something is close the idam yeshaha here yeshaha is very close very close means how much close it is you it is aparoksha the word yeshaha aparoksha atma atma is paroksha or aparoksha atma is paroksha means atma is far away it is paroksha it's not paroksha. It is aparoksha. Nitya aparoksha, in fact. It is self-evident. Atma is, it's you. You, the atma, enjoys the shariram, is called jivaha. So, this jivatma, the atma which is self-evident, that is what the word yeshaha tells. The first line it was, yaha ishwaraha paramatma. Then Saha must be used. When Yaha is as Saha must be the Yatat Samanda, that is. Yaha Ramaha Saha Dashatasya Putraha, we say, right? This is a, in a Sanskrit sentence. Similarly, here, Yaha is there, then Saha must be there, but Saha is there, means then it becomes Paroksha. Atma is far away. Atma is not far away. It is Yeshaha, it is close. That's called Upa Nishat, Upa Samipe. Samipe means how much close? that is closer so close in fact nothing is closer as close that atma is it means it has to be you therefore yeshaha is the self-evident that's self-evident yeshaha atma pratishtitaha it abides it is abides means it's not it's just sitting it is vartate ityartaha putra divye brahma pure in this Brahmapuri, which is effulgent, what is that Brahmapuri? Yomni, Brahmapuri, Brahmapuri is Buddhi is a Brahmapuri. Divya, because Buddhi manifests, Buddhi is Upalabdhisthanam, Buddhi is conscious. Buddhi is conscious. In the Buddhi, only knowledge takes place. Therefore, Buddhi which is called Brahma Puri, because Brahma, Atma, which is obtained in the Buddhi, Vyomni Atma, Vyomni, Vyomni is space. Vyomni, At, Vyomni, Brahma Pure, Vyomni, this Divya, Divya, that is self, that is shining, because Atma is obtained in the, therefore Brahma Puri, it's a nice word, Brahma Puri. Puri, Puro Vashate Iti, Puraha, Purushaha, that Purushaha, Yeshaha Purushaha is obtained in this Brahmapuri, that is Buddhi, Vyomni, in the Akasha, in the space. Space means not literally space. Literally, it is the place or the space. It is Vyomni, we say, we have seen before, Bud, Buddha, Buddhi Guhayam, in the Guha, in the cavity of the Buddhi. What is cavity? Is there any cavity in the buddhi? It is an expression. Buddha, that buddhi is compared to the guha, the cave, in the space of the cave of the heart. 
It means it is obtained in the buddhi. That is the meaning. And that is Brahma Puri. Pratishtitaha what? Yeshaha Atma. Two distinct things. If you take first line is what? Yaha Sarvajnaha Sarvavit. Fine. That is Sarvajnaha Sarvavit. Yes, yeah. Bhuvi Mahima. Okay. Second lines, Yeshaha Atma. Brahma Pure Pratishtitaha Vartat Vartate. This Asmin. This is Divya Brahma Pure Vartate. You, these two lines you have to connect. How will you connect? Yaha Paramatma Yeshaha Atma. It means that, that that Paramatma is this Atma. It means that there is no difference between that Brahma. There is no there are no two things. Yaha Paramatma Yeshaha Atma means it is equated. Therefore, it is Bhavakya. Second line, second line describes Jeevatma and shows the oneness, Yeshaha Atma. Therefore, Tatu Tom Asi Mahavakya. This mantra, Mahavakya mantra. This is how Upanishad presents. Presenting at Pramatma, presenting Brahma, Ishvara, and that Ishvara is obtained in the Buddhi Gugha. Therefore, this Jeevatma is. Paramatma eva surupataha surupadrishtya paramartika drishtya tatatvam asi. This jivatma is paramatma aikyam, essential oneness of jivatma and paramatma. Jivatma, paramatma, between the two there is no difference. Abedaha. If it is Abedaha, that Sarvagnaha Sarvavite, which is the description of Paramatma, should also be the Pajivatma. It is not. Why? Because Sarvagnaha is Surupadrishtya. The word Sarvagnaha, Sarvagnaha Sarvavite, Sarvagnaha, he knows everything. Sarvavite Parmeshwara. So these two words, as I said, it describes Paramatma Brahma. And the person who knows Atma, that person is just called Sarvajyaha, Jnani. Jnani is called Sarvajyaha. He cannot be Sarvavitya. Then the Sarvavitya, Sarvavetratvam, Sarvavetratvam, the knowledge of everything, in detail, in particular, it is not possible for a Jeevatma. Why? It is not possible for a Jeevatma, even if the Jeevatma is Sarvajnaha Jnani. A Jnani is one who has a knowledge, Agam Brahma Asmi, Agam Jeevatma Paramatma Eva, Jagat Karanam Brahma Eva, that is Sarvajnaha. That is Agam Brahma, the Brahma iti, Jnanamasti, that is Sarvajna. He cannot have, or he need not have, the knowledge of everything. Is there any, <clears throat> is there, is there any thing which is compulsory that he must know everything means he must know French, he must know Latin, Greek, everything, every object in detail, particular he must know. Then without, without PhD. He must be a research, he must be a scholar in everything. No. With regard to the, 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 the different knowledges, the, the Aparavidya, he doesn't know. But he knows, but he has a knowledge of Brahma. That Agam Brahma has to be that Jnanam is there. But with regard to the knowledge of everything, he, he doesn't know. Why he doesn't know? Because he has got the buddhi, this upadi, this body has this body has got this body as this upadi, and the upadi has got the antakarnam, antakarnam, the antakarnam knowledge, the knowledge takes place. Then how does the knowledge take place? Knowledge takes place in the antakarnam, knowledge of a thing takes place in the antakarnam, in the buddhi. 
in the in the buddhi the knowledge takes place we know that the knowledge of an object if it is not known before it takes place by it takes place in the buddhi by exposing the the sense organs to the sense objects that is how the knowledge that takes place so the antakarana has to undergo modification knowledge is nothing but the modification of the buddhi with regard to the the objects which are objectified so the antakarana antakarana vritti takes place the vritti takes place in the antakarana but is called a modification so knowledge is nothing but the modification of the the vritti the vritti change the vritti changes when i see a tree tree vritti when i see a ghata ghata vritti tree vritti has to be replaced by ghata vritti that is how the knowledge of the pot takes place now we have the knowledge of the pot and the pot knowledge is replaced by mata gyanam and mata gyanam is replaced by vriksha gyanam or parvata gyanam so this our knowledge takes place vritti takes place by exposing the sense organs to the sense vishaya and the vritti a previous vritti is removed and the new vritti is formed this is how the knowledge takes place so the antakaranam has to undergo modification by operating the pramana and the knowledge takes place in the buddhi of the individual the jivatma this is how the knowledge how can this person be a sarvavit how can there be a sarvavitratvam for this person sarvavit is for ishvara so it means ishvara he knows everything without he is also has got the ishvara has antakarana how does he know everything if ishvara also antakarana you see the contrast if ishvara also has got antakarana ishvara is this samashti this this samashti sharira abhimani atma i just call by the name ishvara it can take stula if it is stula then it is called ishvara if it is sukshma it is called hiranyagarbha atra is called sutratma if it is karana sharira then it is called ishvara if it is stula it is called vish vishva vishvanara if it is stula stula sharira abhimani samashti stula sharira abhimani is called samashti stula sharira abhimani is 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 called by the name vishvanara sukshma sharira abhimani samashti sukshma sharira abhimani atma brahma is called hiranyagarbha sutra atma similarly karana sharira samashti karana sharira abhimani atma is called ishvara but the uh, ishvara the name we lose to use for brahma also we can use something wrong that is how somebody also uses when we say ishvara ishvara is both a technical name and in general it is used to represent brahma no anyway so hiranya garbha if you take hiranya garbha why hiranya garbha because samashti sukshma sharira abhimani sukshma shariram only buddhi is located so let us take sukshma shariram samashti sukshma shariram now in the samashti sukshma shariram of the ishvara how the knowledge takes place does the antakarana undergoes modification for the knowledge to take place no without any modification antakarana without undergoing any modification why because ishvara doesn't have to operate any pramana what pramana ishvara has to operate because he knows he is sarvagya sarvavitha he doesn't have to operate any pramana pramana you operate only when you have avidya only when you don't know a thing then you operate a pramana and you know you come to know the thing you get the knowledge of the object ishvara does ishvara have any necessity to operate the pramana to know a thing which is not known if it is not known then, then ishvara then it cannot be ishvara so therefore ishvara doesn't have to operate the pramana and therefore the antakaran doesn't have to undergo modification so without any modification without antakaranam undergoing any modification 
Ishwara knows everything. He has a knowledge of everything simultaneously all the time. That is called Ishwara. That is that is that is Sarvakya Sarvakita Parameshwara. Whereas this Alpa Jiva, the Jiva for gaining the knowledge of the thing, he has to operate his buddhi. He has to operate the pramanam, and uh, therefore the knowledge of an object takes place in the buddhi. In the buddhi, there is a modification of the vritti, and the knowledge takes place. By that, the ajnanam of an of the object is destroyed, and the knowledge of the object takes place. Jiva can jiva can remove ignorance by the gaining the knowledge of object. Ishvara doesn't have to. Why? Because he knows everything without, without operating the pramana, without the antakarnam undergoing modification. If Ishwara also has antakarna, then it's a problem. Antakarna will undergo modification. So, therefore, there's a difference. That is the difference between the Ishvara and Jiva with regard to Upadi. That is what I told in the previous class. Same thing, I am arriving it through a different, through a different interpretation. Upadi of Ishvara and Upadi of Jiva, there is a difference. This difference will not go away in the wake of Jnana. That is why Jnani continues to live in the world after Jnana for the survival of this body, submitting himself to the order of Ishvara, to Prarabdha, and finally gives up the body and gets Videha Mukti. So, Jnani, before Jnanam, he was Ajnani. Ajnanam went away, he became Jnani. And the Jnani means Sarvajna. He, is, he knows that everything is Bhagavan. Therefore, only he is a Jnani. But he cannot know everything in detail. That Because even, even, even the Jnani has got limited Upadhi. Upadhi is limited. The Shariram and Shariram is limited. Antakarnam is limited. Whereas in the case of Bhagavan, such limitations are not there. If limitations are there, are there then he cannot be Bhagavan. Therefore, Sarvavitu. So, Ishvara, without operating the Pramana, he knows everything, Sarvajnaha and Sarvavitu. And we... Jivatma Alpa Jivaha has to operate the Pramana, even though, even if you are Jnani, therefore, it cannot be a Sarvagita, it can be a Sarvagnaha. Sarvagnaha is, when you say Sarvagnaha, Sarvam Janati, both are same, Jnadatu, Vididatu, both are meant to know. But Sarvam Visheshena Janati, we say Sarvagita. Sarvam Samanyena Janati, Sarvagnaha. Samanyena in general. What is in general? In general means everything Brahma iti janati. Yaha janati saha sarvajnya ha jnani. Sarvam visheshena janati. Everything he knows in particular. That is possible only for Bhagavan. Because that, that because Ishvara doesn't have the limited upadi like Jiva. He doesn't operate like the Jiva operates. Jiva has to operate the pramana to know the to gain the knowledge of an object. Ishvara doesn't have to operate. When do you operate pramana? Only when you don't know your thing. If Ishvara also has to operate the pramana, then Ishvara must be ignorant. If Ishvara is ignorant, then he cannot be Sarvavita. Therefore, Sarvavita is Ishvara. Without the uh, is without operating the pramanam, is antakaram not going under any changes, modification. He knows everything. Sarvavitu. So therefore upadi, upadi daha, jiveshwara yoho bedaha. With regard to upadi, there is difference between jiva and ishvara. Then why it is equated? It is, if you take Vachyartha, Vachya, Vachyartha, Vachyartha of Jiva and Ishvara, 
Vedaha Asti. Vachyartha means Upadi. Upadi taking the Vachya, the meaning of the word as it is. That's called Vachyartha. Jiveshwara Yoho Vachya Bhedataha. Otherwise, Upadi Bhedataha. Upaditaha. Vachya Taha or Upaditaha. Vedaha Asti Eva. But do we take Vachyartha or Lakshyartha? We don't take Vachyartha. That is why we say essential oneness, Lakshyartha. Paramartika Drishtya. Lakshyartya Jeeveshwar Yoga Vedaha Nasti. So, Veda is there with regard to the Upadhi. Abheda is there with regard to the Swarupam. Swarupataha Vedaha Nasti. Uparitaha Vedaha Asti. Vachyartha Drishtya Vedaha Asti. Lakshyartya Drishtya Lakshyartha Taya Vedaha Asti. Lakshyartha. Lakshyar. Vachy Lakshy. You can take like this. Lakshy Vedaha Asti. Vedaha Nasti. Vachy Vedaha Asti. Vachy Vedaha Asti. Uparitaha Vedaha Asti. Lakshy Vedaha Nasti Abedaha Lakshy Surupe Bedaha Nasti Surupe Abedaha. So therefore, when we say Tat Yaha Sarvekaha Sarvavit Yeshaha Atma Tat Brahma Tat Brahma Aham Asmi, when we say it is Lakshyartha, Lakshyartha Drishtya, not Vachyartha. How can that all knowing? Ishvara is Sarvakyaha Sarvavitu be me. That is what we generally ask. How can I be Ishvara? How can I be Ishvara? Ishvara knows everything. Ishvara knows is Sarvakyaha Sarvavitu. How can I be Ishvara? That you are saying with, with reference to this Vyavaharika Prapancha. Vyavaharika is nothing but to Upadi. This Vyavaharika is Upadi. I operate through this limited Shariram, that is Sharira Upadi, and Ishvara Upadi is Jagat. So, Upadi through that, that, that transaction, which happens through the Upadi, that's called empirical transaction, empirical world. That world is called empirical world, transactory world, in which the Jiva as well as the Ishvara operates through its Upadi. Ishvara Upadi is unlimited. Ishvara Upadi. Jiva Upadi is limited. That is called em empirical transactory world. Now, we are equating Jiva and Paramatma, Jiva and Paramatma, not empirically. Not Vyavaharika Drishtya. It is Paramartika Drishtya. Paramartika Drishtya, that Swarupam of Ishvara is Brahma, that is Chaitanyam. Swarupam of this limited Jiva is also Chaitanyam. Chaitanyam, Chaitanya Drishtya, Ekam Eva, that's called Advaitam Abedaha. Paramartika Drishtya Abedaha. Then what happened to the Upadi? Upadi we dismiss. Why? Because it is Mithya. Because it is Mithya. It is Mithya, therefore, dismissing it as Mithya, even dismissing the Upadi of Ishvara as Mithya. Mithya doesn't mean Tucham. Mithya has got validity, validity has got utility in the Vyavaharika Prapancha. Vyavaharika Prapancha, you cannot be Ishvara. Vyavaharika, Vyavaharika Prapancha, you cannot be Ishvara. Vyavaharika Drishtya, a Jiva cannot be Ishvara. And we say Jiva is Brahma, Paramatma, it is Surupa Drishtya, Paramartika Drishtya. It is something like this. The ocean water is there. What is the, the amount of water, the volume of water, and the, the strength, the power of the water? Suppose the water is also kept under control by the shore, the banks. Like uh, the dam water. Dam water also, the water is also stored 
it is controlled by the dam now which is more powerful both are water only essentially they are one both are h2o both are water only dam water as well as ocean water if dam is broken or opened and assume that the bank also is broken or opened and ocean water also enters dam water also flows which would be more powerful when they come in the opposite direction ocean water will just gulp all the dam water ocean both are water only but ocean water is powerful it is huge all pervading in fact it is relatively the difference is that the difference is that because because of the uh, because of the upadi the ocean is also upadi dam water is also upadi with a heart to dam it's called dam water therefore it is upadi so upadi upadi tah bhedah asti but swarupa tah both are water only dam water also h2o if you touch the water dam water it is water only touching the ocean water that touch that is also water only both are water only we may not be able to drink the ocean water you can purify and drink that's the only difference fine but both are water only swarupa drishtya jalam eva swarupa drishtya jalam eva kintu upadi drishtya veda asti one is huge other one is little that's called sarvajnya alpajnya we say sarva shaktiman alpa shaktiman difference is there where in the vivahara we are not equating jeevatma paramatma at the level of vivahara we are equating at the level of at the level of paramartika at the level of swarupa the nature the nature of the reality of the thing therefore therefore advaitam doesn't mean there is abeda in the vyavahara if abeda if the thing is that this is a this is a very serious thing misconce- misconceived wrong and wrongly understood thing advaitam abeda means everything is equal everything is there is only one the difference should be abolished it cannot do that differences will be there because differences are mithya differences will be there that is nothing in the world which is equal to one another thing everything is different every human being is different every human being is unique nobody is equal also it doesn't mean the, there is there is there is a taratamya parapaksha it is it doesn't mean that it is a fact no two leaves are same every leaf is unique similarly every human being is unique you don't have to equate another problem is men and women are equal they are not equal men cannot be equal to women women cannot be equal to men they cannot be equal they are different you can say they are complementary to each other that is that is the right word they cannot be equal why should women fight for equality they need not be equal they cannot become equal by doing whatever the men are doing so really if men does then it becomes ugly so they are not equal there is no equality everything is unique appreciate everything as it is therefore if a, therefore the varna ashrama the divisions in the society brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra they are not equal fine there is no problem they are not equal it means every ashrama every varna is unique it means every varna ashrama has the status brahmana as a status kshatriya as a status vaishya also as a status shudra also as a status but shudras are neglected shudras are treated worse that is a problem the shudra also is a status it's a unique so nobody is greater or nobody is inferior it's a status it is unique each and everything in the world enjoys different status a tree is not a flower a tree is different flower is different rivers are different mountains are different they are all different they cannot be you cannot equate it vedahasti eva 
So where is Abeda? Abeda is from the Paramatika Drishta, everything is one. This is this is what is uh, wrongly understood, and they try to impose this idea of Abheda, the Vyavaharika, that creates a lot of problem. In the Vyavaharika differences are there. The differences are meant to meant for appreciation and meant for utility. Differences has to be there. Then only you can utilize an object. If, if, if a pot is there, it is meant for different utility. It is different from a, from a glass. Glass is small. That's the difference. Glass can hold only small quantity of water. Pot can hold huge quantity. That's the difference. It doesn't mean pot is greater. Glass is small. Glass is inferior. Different utilities. Similarly, every every everything in the world is has got different status, different utility. Therefore, there are Vedas and it has to be appreciated as it is. You cannot destroy the differences and equate it. It is never possible. Each human being is unique, I said. If you further see, not everyone has got equal intelligence also. Not everyone has got equal intelligence. That's a fact. It doesn't mean the human being is, in, uh, is inferior than the other, other one. It doesn't mean. The intelligence is not common. Similarly, the physical power is not common. So many things are not common. A person may be intelligent, but he may be lacking in muscle power. And a person may be having excellent muscle power. He may be lacking in intelligence. Differences are there. These differences are there because of so many factors which we cannot, we cannot arrive at. Differences are there and it has to be appreciated. That is why that, 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 that alone makes a difference. That alone contributes to the classification of this Varna Ashrama. Kshatriya. Kshatriya is who operates more, who, who operates the muscle more than the than utilizing the buddhi. Brahmana is they are considered to be the intellectual. They are considered because they study Shastram all the time, 24-7, that is their job. They don't, they don't have anything, anything other to do. Whereas Kshatriya, they have to develop their body, the muscle power, to protect the society, to protect the country from the enemies. So their focus is more on the, the body, developing, developing the body. So therefore, differences are the... Each, each is meant for a different purpose, different utility. Differences are to be appreciated. That is how it is. Differences are the vibhuti of Bhagavan. That is called Mahima. The differences are there. Differences, varieties, these are the, the Mahima of Buddhi. Uh, sorry, Ishvara. Mahima of Ishvara. If we just see the previous section, previous uh, Mundaka, the previous Mundaka, we, we, that is the from the mantra, from the, from the, in this Mundaka, previous, previous Kanda, if you see, that is starting from 2.1.1. You can see all this mantra. From this Akshara Purusha, the Upanishad uses the word Akshara. We know in the beginning itself, Upanishad uses the word Akshara. Paravidya, Apravidya, Yet Aksharam, if you remember, Dve Vidya, Veditavye, Itihasma, Paracha, Aparacha. So that, paravid, that division of Paravidya and Aparavidya. Is done in the beginning. Rigveda, Yajurveda, Samaveda, all these are Pravidya, Parayaya, Adakshara Madhigam Yate, that is called Akshara Vidya, otherwise called Paravidya. Therefore, the Upanishad uses the word <coughs> Aksharam, Akshara Purusha for them, for Ishvara. Now, from that Akshara Purusha, st starting from this mantra of the previous Kanda, of this same Mundaka, Sriti Mundaka, Tataksara, Vidhaha, Somyaha, Bhavaha, Prajayante, Tatra Shaiva, Piyanti, you can recollect all the mantra which we have seen, Robert From this Aksharat, different things have come. Like what? 
Sudipta, Pavaka, this pulling like the, the, from the fire, different the sparks come. Similarly, different beings have come. And different beings, different things have come, different beings, different things. And it is detailed in this in this section. What all the things have come from that Akshara Purusha. Etasma Jayate Pranaha Manahas Manasarve Indriyanicha Kamba Yur Jyoti Rapaha Prithivi Vishnasyatharani. So from the Akshara Purusha, all these things are born. They are different things. They are not same. Prana is not Manaha. Manaha is not Indriyani. Kam, Akasha is not Vayu. Vayu is not Jyoti. All these are varieties. Different things have different things have come to existence from the Akshara Purusha. Not only Upanishad stops there. Agnir Murtha, Chakshushi, Chandrasuryav, Dishashrotreva, Vivrata, Shivedaha, Vayu Prana, Harvayam, Vishwamasya, Padhyam, Prithivi, Hesha, Sarvabhuta, Andaratma, all these things are born from that Akshara Purusha. Tasma Dagnihi, Samido Yasya Surya, Somat Parajanya, Oshadeya Pratibhyam, Pumandeta Sinjati, Oshitaya, Bhagvi Prajav, Purusha, Samprasuta. See the last thing, Bhagvihi, Prajaha. All these are these Praja, Bhagvi, Bhagvayaha, Prajaha. All these have come from. From the Paramatma, Akshara Purusha. They are different. They are different and it has come from the same father. Tasma, Dachaha, Sama, Yaju, Humshi, Dikshaha, Yajna, Sarve, Kratavo, Dakshinascha. Even the Vedas are of four. Not all the Vedas are same. Vrit Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, Atrava Veda, different. Doesn't mean there is one is, one is greater, other one is inferior. No. Tasma Devaha, Bhagavata, Samprasutaha, Sadhyaha, Manushyaha, Pashava Vayansi, Manushya, Pashus. Everything will come from this Akshara Purusha. Yet, so for father is only one. Therefore, from the one father, everything has come. Therefore, Bhedaha, Asti, at the same time, Abhedaha also it is there. At the same time, Abhedaha also. That is the Vibhuti of Bhagavan. In the Vyavaharika Prapancha Bhedaha Asti. But it has come from the same father. And you are not different from your father. Thou art the father in heaven in Bible, it says. So you are the same. You are not different from him. That is the Aikyam, that is the oneness, Surupa Drishtya, Paramartika Drishtya. Therefore, because a Veda is there, it is not, it is not Veda. The Veda is Mithya. There is a Vada. There is a Vada called Veda Abeda Vada. Our Vada is Advaita Vada Abeda Vada. In spite of differences, there is non difference. Differences are there in Vyavahara. But it is Mithya. Essentially, they are one. Therefore, no difference, non difference. That is what that's called Advaita Abeda. Abeda Vada. And there are some schools of philosophy, where they mix up two different things. That is, they say, Veda Abheda Vada. Seeing the empirical differences, they, are, they, they that taking it as real, they think, they, they, they say it is Veda, at the same time, Abheda. So, mixing up two things, Veda Abheda Vada. The Vada is Veda Abheda. Veda is only at the empirical level, not at the absolute level, Paramartika level. Either you have to talk from the empirical level or talk from the paramartika level. If you say that at the empirical level there are differences, we don't have problem. But you mix up two different levels of reality. One is empirical, other one is total, absolute. From the standpoint of the absolute, there is no beda, a beda only. From the standpoint of the empirical world, there is beda. So, connecting two disconnected things. It's because they have not understood what is Mithya. They have not understood what Mithya. Even though there are differences in, at the level of this Gyavakarika Prapancha and that is because of the Upadi. The Upadi is you but you are not the Upadi. If Upadi is what? If, if, upadi, if, if, if you are the Upadi then you cannot give up the Upadi. But you give up the Upadi. You give up the body. And take another body, therefore, this is not permanent. Therefore, it is mithya, it comes and goes. It cannot be you. 
then what is you? You are Atma. That is what we are talking about. So, at the level of total, absolute, Paramartika, there is Abheda. Not only among you and me, between the Jeevas, even with Ishvara, it is one. It is same only. The same Atma alone pervades everything. Therefore, Sarvajnaha Sarvavita, that Ishvara is this Atma, this each, every, each, each and everyone has to say that Atma is this Atma, Aham Brahma. If Aham Brahma, when you say, if I say Aham Brahma, if you also Aham Brahma, then both are Brahma only. There is no difference among the Jeevas. There is no difference between Ishvara and Jeeva. Therefore, there is only one Ekam Brahma Yeva. That is the knowledge. That is, that is Lakshya. That is called Lakshyartha. We have to take the Lakshyartha. When we are equating, we are taking the Lakshyartha. That is called Bhagatyaha Lakshana. Tat Tvam Asi, when we say, the first line is of this mantra is Tatpada description. Second line is Tvampada description. Tat and Tvam. Are we equating Tatpadam and Tvampadam? Literally, are taking the, the Lakshyartha. We cannot take, we cannot equate it. Vachyartha we cannot take because Tat referring to Brahma, Ishvara is, with Upadi is huge, is Sarva Shaktiman, is Sarvajnaha, Sarvavit, whereas with Upadi, Aham is Alpa Shaktiman, Alpa Gnaha, how can you equate it? Therefore, we cannot take the Vachyartha. At the empirical level, there is Upadi and there are differences. Vachyartha we cannot take. We have to take the Lakshyartha. That is dropping the Upadi of Ishvara as well as that of the Jiva. Dropping the Upadi. You can drop the Upadi. When you can you drop the Upadi? Only when it is Mithya. You can drop the Upadi. Then after dropping the Upadi, what is is, is only this Chaitanyam Atma. Therefore, they are equated. That's called Bhagat Kyaka Lakshan. Other is called Jagal Ajagal Lakshana. Bhagatyaha Lakshanena Jiveshwar Yoho Vedaha Asti. That is what is said in this mantra. More we will see in the next class. This is only a revision just to make you recollect what we have already seen. This is since we had gap of two weeks. I hope this recollection is useful. So we'll stop here. Om Pur Namadaf Pur Namidam Pur Nad Pur Namadachade Pur Nasya Pur Namadhaya Pur Nameva Vashishate Om Shantashan Tishantihi Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyora Maha Harihi Om We have seen up to this first line of the Bashim, right? Yaha. Yes. Punaha. Okay. You all, yes. remember, you all remember the mantra meaning? Yeah, Jay. Yeah. Okay. Really? Okay. If you remember, <laughs> when we read the mantra, yeah, we get the crux of the mantra. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Even though I repeated the same thing, so it's okay. So just a recollection. Next week, next week, next week we'll see the Bashim. Then you are the